So guys, I have some cigar boxes. I've had them for years. So I took this cigar box and put this wallpaper on it. I've got little legs I put on it. And I painted it. I'm not done painting. I think I'm going to make some little clay leaves to put on the front here. And then put it, when I paint it again, then I'll paint these leaves the rose color. That one over there, I may make it more, I don't know if I want to do halloween -y. You know, it's almost that time. It is July, got to prepare. So that's what I'm going to do. It's just super, super hot still. Sorry if you hear the fan, but, you know, you got to have it on you out here in the desert. <laughs> so I'll let you see how it comes along. So, hey, guys, you know, we got fires in California. All that comes over here. We've had extreme heat. I think we reached a record high in July. I don't know the date, but it was 120 degrees. That is hot. hot. In this type of weather, you just got to be low-key and drink a lot of water. I mean, I go out and water my plants in the mor morning. Now, we do have water restriction here, so I have to water. I can't water between 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So I usually go out about 9.30 in the morning. I water for four minutes. Four minutes. So I'm going to say I'm out there for five minutes. <laughs> oh, my God. I come in, my head, I'm sweating. You know, it feels like I've been swimming and I've got a half-dried bathing suit on under my clothes. It's like crazy. I know the other day I, uh, you know, I wear little slides all the time around the house. So the other day I take my slides off and I, I see my foot. And I'm thinking, oh my God, there's dirt across my toes. But when I look, it's all tanned across my toes. Just a little bit that I go outside because the sun is brutal here in the summertime. So I'm just kind of working on crafts. That always kind of soothes, soothes me. So I did my cigar box. I think I'm just going to use this in the front room. And I got little birds inside. I'm still deciding. I still got to kind of seal it. I'm working on my Halloween one. I got skulls on here. And... Oops. And when you open this, I've got, I decoupaged a napkin and I decoupaged this tool material I had. So it's looking pretty good. I want to figure out, because this kind of just slides like this. <laughs> and it, it's, when you shut it all the way, it's kind of hard. Well, it's awkward for me to try to open that. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with that. Now, this is just stuff I'm doing for the holidays coming up. I did a little, I have this silver platter that was just laying around the house and not being utilized. So I took and I glued a piece of wood on there. I decoupaged a napkin. I painted it. I got to seal this and I just put some foliage around it. It could be on a little plat, a plate stand. <laughs> so that I've got for the fall. I got a Bailey's bottle. I thought, mm-hmm, Halloween-y. So I made these little, I molded these out with my uh, glue gun. I have little molds, and then I did two little side ones. And I got some bats, too, I could put on here, but... I started putting stuff on there, and I used the wrong glue. I don't know what I was thinking. I was using wood glue, which I needed to use, like, E6000. And it takes time to, you know, glue the pieces on. So we'll see. I've got to paint it. I was trying to take off the label. I don't know if I need to, because I'll probably texturize it. And so it's going to be... 
irregular anyway. But yeah, that's all I've been doing. Like I said, I went and I got my hair cut. It's kind of spiky right now. But that's okay. Like I said, it's been so hot. When when uh, it gets to be 120, 115, and the air outside, that's what's hot. You walk out there in that air, right away your skin it starts perspiring. You, you can feel a layer of like dew on your arms and your legs when you go out there. Your body goes right into perspiration mode. Even in the house, now we don't have the temperature real cold in here. I think we have it uh, 84, something like that. But when it's 115 out, I guess that's kind of cool. You could do stuff around the house and all of a sudden it's like, whew, you could feel all that heat. I have no trees in my yard to protect my house for the sun. I said, I'm sitting here watching climate change and I'm paying for it because, you know, my uh, utility bill is going to be a lot higher. I do have a, a plan with the electric company that they average out. They take what I use for a whole year. They average it out, and then that's what I pay. I pay that every month until they average it out again. I have gotten it down. When I have a brutal, you know, summer like this, I'm paying to watch climate change go on in front of my face here. <laughs> well, hopefully, maybe uh, we'll get enough people that will recognize climate change, do, st do something about it. Let's Let's get everything moving in the right place because this is brutal. I lived in Indiana. We had brutal winters there. Here I got brutal summers. What can you do? What can you do? So anyway, that's what I've been doing. Sorry I really haven't been on here. I did buy a little cooler for my road trip and I'll do a little oh, video of that and put on here. But other than that, yeah, not much going on. I'm just, uh, you know, working on some crafts and trying to stay busy. What can I say? So I'll let you know how my projects come out. Here's uh, my little birthday box. I, <laughs> I put a little, did all this last night for my sister. I got all her little gifts in there. Hey, guys. So I'm fixing the... Head out here and pick up my sister. Now, tomorrow's her birthday, but I'm going to take her to breakfast today. Talked to her yesterday. I was like, I'm sorry, shake it over here. I, would, I told her I wanted to go thrifting to pick up some pieces for my Renaissance costume. I told her I'd take her to breakfast for her birthday. So she said, well, let's just do it Monday. We're going to go have breakfast and then thrifting. So I got her gift. It's 92 right now. It's supposed to be 113 today. And so it's warm. I'm going to head out here, though, in a few. I'll try to film you. This hair is doing whatever it wants. <laughs> you know, you just got to let your hair be its own little thing. Oh, I got too much blush on. Woo! But anyway, that's what I'm going to do today. Woohoo! Hey, guys. So I didn't really film when I picked up my sister for breakfast. We went to IHOP. It was okay. I mean, it's just eggs, bacon, and hash browns and some toast. My sister got French toast and coffee. And then we went thrifting, and I didn't really film in there either. But I'll show you what I bought. Stuff out of the way here. So I bought these dowel sticks. They're quite tall. For Halloween, we're going to do a ghost theme. And I got, I seen something on YouTube. I want to try to imitate it. I got this material. If you look, it's, a, it's kind of a see-through material. I thought it would be perfect for ghosts. It's actually a shower curtain. Now today it was, green tag was a dollar, so I got it for a dollar, but it's a lot of material for my ghost. I have to wash that up. I couldn't find nothing for Renaissance. I mean, there was no slips to fit me, and dresses or skirts like that, the colors weren't right. 
So, <laughs> I found another shower curtain, and it has, it has this material behind it, kind of like a satin material. Oh, I see they got some tassels. I could use those, too. But on top, let me get it here, it's got this material. It's Renaissance. What's so great about it, because it's a curtain, right, it's already got a little place here that I could just do a drawstring in there, and I really won't have to sew. I could just draw it up on me, cut the excess off the bottom, glue some kind of hem so it won't ravel. And this I also paid a dollar for. I don't know where the tag's at, but it was also green, green tag. So, yeah, see, it was a dollar. I don't know how much it was before, but it was a dollar I got it. I thought, this would, this would be good. I could make me just a little slip type of, to go under my dress. And I won't have to do a lot to it, a lot of sewing or, so the least, the less I have to do for my costume, the better. I didn't really find nothing for Halloween for my costume, but I did find this. And I mean, I got two, two types of material, kind of the satin and the see-through. Now, I don't want to put too many layers on because I know it's going to be hot out there. I like to put, I may put this over top skirt and then pull it up on each side so my other dresses show underneath it. I may do that instead of putting it underneath because it, it does have a nice pattern and that's probably what I'll do is kind of draw string it around. It'd be almost like a maybe an apron and I could tack it in the back if I need to to keep it closed and just wear that you know. so. The Renaissance, that's all it's about, a costume. And I try not to spend too much money on it. Let me get you down here a little bit. You're not way up in the sky. Oh, I also wanted to show you. I got this cooler igloo from uh, Big Lots. This is for my road trip. <laughs> smells new and there's the inside right oops sorry and I think this is just going to be great for us I think uh, see the tag on there it was like $24 to me that was reasonable because I thought that was a good price for a cooler igloo is a pretty good cooler that says 18 cans 12 quarts or 11 liters you can put in there. And it's made in the USA, so that's a good thing, too. <sighs> you have to excuse the way I look, because I told you going outside, even when I went out this morning, it was like 92 when I was out there. The time you walk around, you just get hot and sweating. So I got my cooler. And it's a nice size that, you know, we could carry it. We don't have to, even with the stuff in it, it's not going to be all that crazy. So I got that set up. I gave my sister all her birthday gifts. She loved them. You know, she'll probably just, she said she'll bake her a cake tomorrow and get her some ice cream. <laughs> well, that's what you got to do sometimes, make your own cake. I know this vlog uh, is not that long. But like I said, it's just been so extremely hot that I'm hoping that the time the Renaissance, the park we where we have the Renaissance Fair, it, there's not a lot of uh, shade there anyway. So you're out in the sun and it's not like parks back home. There, <laughs> we go every year. I've gone for quite a few years at this point. Yeah, I'm excited I got material. What else did I do? I got my hair cut this time, but yeah, just basic stuff. 
you know, working on my crafts and everything. So, yeah, I'm going to finish this little vlog here. It's uh, Monday. What is it? Uh, August 5th. I'm going to make a tuna fish casserole for dinner tonight. So it's something simple. I think I'll put it all together and then put it in the microwave on the convection, convection oven and kind of melt the cheese. I put cheese on mine. So I'm going to melt the cheese and everything. Try to avoid using the oven. But that's pretty much it. Kind of low-key stuff. Nothing really exciting going on here. Talk to you later, alligator. Bye.